everyone knows that one person who's seemingly good at everything. The United Kingdom's Billy Bolt is one of those characters who oozes talent and makes every onlooker jealous. If it has two wheels, he's mastered it. I grew up just loving motorbikes, um, all kind of bikes, twirls, enduro, motocross, MotoGP. I was a fan of everything, um, but I actually, I actually rode twirls all my life from uh, age seven until when I made the switch over to enduro a few years ago at uh, 19. I lost my way and was struggling to see a, a career or a real uh, a future um, in twirls. So, so yeah, towards the, the end of 2015, I decided to to make the switch and go almost all in in the enduro world completely. Uh, borrowed the money off my mom and bought my first bike and that was it. Um, just did everything I could. I had a lot of good people helping us and, and you know, just, just trying to learn and get advice from as many people as possible that first year. Crashing my brains out, but uh, you know, taking a lot of lessons from it. And, and yeah, it's been a pretty uh, rapid growth since I made the switch. Pretty wild ride, but one that I wouldn't change for the world. sweat through just for the love of it away from bikes there's not too much else going on there's there's other things i'd have a few other hobbies and bits and bobs but there's nothing really i would compare to bikes um you know that's all i've known since i was three four years old and i started riding that's all i've wanted to do i sit every day through school just dreaming i could be on my bike instead so now it's uh now it's my job and i've got to do it every day it's not something i take for granted that's for sure i uh, ride Every day I can, um, you know, with a smile on my face. I try to to keep it fun. I think there's um, it's easy to get caught up in it, and, and but really, when it comes down to it, all we're doing is having fun on motorbikes. Um, you know, I'm happy to ride anything: two strokes, four strokes, two fifties, three fifties, four fifties, three hundreds. If it's got an engine and two wheels, it's good enough for me. That's one thing that I think we're kind of lucky with. You know, there's that many different elements of of our racing and our uh, our training. That you know, a, a day out motocross, a day in the mountains or in the hill. We don't really have many mountains we can ride in, but a day in the hills, in the forest, on the rock, in the rivers. It's all um, it all adds up and it's all helpful and it's all useful in the long term. Um, super enjoys, you know. I don't want to say what I enjoy the most, but it's definitely, um, you know, ranks pretty highly 
I like the training side of it. I like that it's a little bit more um, structured with its training. That sounds weird because I'm the most unstructured person on planet Earth. But you know, I like the fact you can, it's a, you can go out and do motors and you know how long you're going to be riding for and how long the race is um, and all that. And I like the grind of the motors and, and, it, and it's difficult. You know, it's tough. We're hitting like uh, you know 190, 200 with a heart rate for the entire race, uh, the entire motor. So um, I like that side of it. But I also like the fact that the next day year we can get the two stroke out and go out and ride for five, six hours, uh, go get lost, go and get stuck. And it's all counting, it's all helpful, it's all useful. followers want to see the good times, they want to see something nice, some sick riding, something a little bit uh, out of the ordinary. I don't think you know you need to show all of the, the grind and the, the hard work that goes into it at the end of the day. You know, you want to inspire kids to have a, a good time as much as, uh, as much as anything and to enjoy riding dirt bikes, which I think um, above all is what's important. <laughs>